Internet competitors are unlikely to cut YouTube any slack. It's spiking incredibly high. At what point does what comes up go down? Yeah, I think the winner in this scenario is BitTorrent. Bill Tanzer at Hitwise says BitTorrent is still a bit player in the online media world because not so many people want to download software to then download content. So why should Warner Brothers bother? Potentially, there's the possibility that consumers can download movies much faster than they can off the web. That's, that's the clear advantage. With us on the phone right now is Bill Tanser of Hitwise. So, Bill, let's break this down piece by piece. How did you determine the popularity of MySpace? So what we did, Allison, is we, uh, we looked at the top uh, 10 sites uh, in our rankings of U.S. Internet sites. We track over a half million uh, different sites at Hitwise. And the thing that we saw that was unusual, that as of this last week, the, uh, the site www.myspace.com became the number one site, and it overtook uh, Yahoo Mail site, which is mail.yahoo.com. And that site, Yahoo Mail, has been the number one for two years running now. All right. So Yahoo does have, there is some, something to Yahoo's claim that they're still the biggest website because you broke this down. Is that the case? Well, one of the things that we do at Hitwise, we think it's more insightful to look at the pieces of all the different sites. So even MySpace, within our rankings, we break out into its different pieces, like blogs.myspace.com and music.myspace.com. So within the rankings, you can actually see the component pieces. Now, when Yahoo came out with their numbers, they looked at the network overall, so how big is Yahoo and all their sites combined uh, when you compare it with, with MySpace. And we can do that, too, with our system. When we compare the two, Yahoo combined the top properties about 11.4%, and MySpace combined about 7.1%. But we think, though, if you do that, though, you're combining together a portal and looking at it in comparison to a social networking site. Still looking at our rankings, MySpace, number one, 4.46% of all Internet visits. And the main page for Yahoo, www.yahoo.com, in at number three behind Yahoo Mail at 4.25%. Bill Tanser of Hitwise, thanks for explaining it to us. Absolutely, Alice. Just within the last five weeks, we've seen about a 42% increase in the queries homes for sale. We don't actually suggest that you use these numbers to actually predict the magnitude of the change of direction. What we know, though, is that it does signal a change in direction. Bill, you were wrong. Why? Well, first, Jane, I'd like to say that we were almost right. You know, if we look at what was, uh, <laughs> what was actually predicted or what was released today by the NAR was a drop of only a half percent. The mean average uh, economist prediction going into this month was, a, was going to be a two and a half percent prediction. The NAR chief economist even said that uh, what we see now is a leveling off, which we think actually is, is closer to what we were saying, which is a change in direction. Well, it still wasn't quite a change in direction. Would you think that actually in August maybe people were more curious than they were ready to buy? So they were searching, but they weren't ready to buy. Well, Jane, that's an excellent point. There's two phenomena that we've seen in the data since we last talked about four weeks ago. Uh, one of them is, is that there seems to be an increased incidence of foreclosure searches associated with homes for sale. So people searching for homes for sale foreclosure, which we think might indicate some speculative activity. And then we also see some searches that tend to make us believe that people are looking for the, the value of their existing homes, not intending to sell. So people getting a little bit nervous about the market conditions and wondering whether or not their home sales have dropped. We are looking at that search chart right now. It did peak a little bit and then it started to drop real quick. Bill, are you willing to make a prediction for the direction next month? Well, you know, it's interesting. If, if things follow like they've have in the past, we should see an increase. Perhaps our indicator just was lagging a little bit more than it should. But I'll be updating my analysis as we get closer to October 25th.